Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? This is for Libra or Libra cross watchers. It doesn't matter what your sign is. At the end of the day, we're souls and we're going to leave this body and the soul has no zodiac sign. So you are welcome here anytime, any person, I don't, whatever you want to be, whoever you are, welcome. I believe in divine timing and if you're here, you're here for a reason. Some of you, this may not resonate right now. It may not even resonate for you personally. It could resonate to somebody who's attached to your energy. But what I'm getting for Libra, by the way, happy birthday, Libra. Libra! We're about to have a full moon in Aries, too, which is always under Libra. Anyway, I'm getting that some of you are going to come to an agreement with someone. I don't know who this is. It could be a doctor. It could be someone in your family. It could be anything, anyone. There's, it, there's some sort of agreement. In a way, you could call it a settlement. It kind of goes along with my main message I had today, so some of you may want to check that out. But I'm getting that um, you will be coming to an agreement. You're going to need to at least, or at least this is what Spirit's advising you to do, is to... Um, work through something. I don't know if it's about working something out as much as it's about working through something, making sure you ask a lot of questions, you get a lot of information. You also may have to give a lot of information. It's possible some of you will be having a conversation with an individual. It could be your partner, your coworker, um, your medical doctor, a lawyer, detective, or somebody. Okay, a brother, a cousin, a someone. You're going to be having a conversation with them or they you and I feel like it's going to be um, either it's a serious conversation between the two of you or whatever y'all are talking about is you're, somebody's dead serious about it it's not no laughing matter it doesn't mean it's like scary or bad I do feel that um, it could be about business though like this is about business I don't mean actual career or a job I just mean someone means business Whoever here is going to be having a conversation with someone or needing to kind of see eye to eye on something or get on the same page at least. It's like, um, uh, whoever they are discussing this with or whatever, it's like they're going to need to be on the same page. We have two people here at least that need to be on the same page regarding a situation. And so it's, it's like, uh, we need to work through this. Some of you, the way to work through a situation is going to be to handle it legally or then. Some of you, the way to work through a situation is to, um, I'm hearing swallow one's pride, let their ego go, um, let bygones be bygones, things like that. Kind of like a truce. Some of you could be calling a truce with someone or um, coming to some sort of an agreement that the two of you are going to, you know, either work it out or go your separate ways. I do feel that someone here is going to be willing to work with you in some way. I don't know what that means. It can mean anything. Or maybe you are working with a person and the two of you are like um, your partners in some way. And uh, you and this individual, whether it's romantic or not, your partners, you work together to come to a conclusion or to find a solution to... Uh, Well, it seems like to more than one thing. I feel like you guys are going to be asking questions or you will be asked questions. There's there's definitely some type of important... Uh, mm, partnership here that you have or that you're needing to have with someone. An important... Mutual understanding... It's very important that you and another individual are on the same page with something. And I think we're going to be needing to like clear the air in a way, clear the air in the near future with someone. This will happen. There could even be a mediator. Like, let's say you are getting a divorce or this is like a landlord or a boss. There's something some of you are dealing with, whether it's directly or someone you are a partner with or someone in your family, friends, a close person to your energy. They may be going through something and you have to uh, talk to them. Like you're talking to them about this or they're talking to you about it, about how to handle the situation. 
almost like advice. Some of you could be giving someone advice in the near future. Could be medical advice, could be legal advice, or someone could be doing this to you. Like, this is what you need to do. This is the steps. Whatever advice is given, I do believe that um, there will be a mutual understanding. Like, if someone does give advice here, you or another, I think the other person is going to be like, okay. You know, because maybe, maybe the other person here, whoever, one individual here does not know what to do as much as the other person. And so it's good to put two heads together so that, you know, um, we can figure out the best solution to this issue, this problem. Now, something could have been really bad here. Like, I don't know what it is, but something could have been rather, uh, it caused, let's say it this way, something not great, not so great, has caused this um, need for collaboration or this need for a discussion. Had this unfortunate whatever it is or just not great thing, had that not occurred and happened, we probably wouldn't have to have this conversation, but because it did, this is what we have to do and this is what we're gonna do. For some of you, I'm getting that this could actually be like medical advice or it could be legal advice. It could be, um, as simple though as let's say you have a best friend you're talking to them and they're telling you about someone else who like betrayed them you may be like well this is how you're going to handle that situation or this is how i advise you to i think you know this would be the best way to go about it blah blah blah, blah. and you kind of come to an understanding you, you see it's something along those lines or maybe it's a neighbor maybe it's a, a freaking neighbor and the two of you are tired of the same car or truck or whatever driving down the road and throwing their trash out and it always lands in your yard, you know, or maybe it's like a neighbor who's always loud and then so you talk to another another neighbor or maybe it's a neighbor whose crazy ass dog is always in your yard shitting and barking at your children, huh? You know what I'm saying? And then so you gotta, instead of talking to the neighbor that has that dog, because you don't know how they're gonna act, you don't know, they could be crazy. You may talk to the other neighbor on the other side of you and be like, you see this dog? This dog comes shit in your yard too. And then the two of you come to an agreement that we don't have to do what we gotta do to get rid of this dog, you know, since the neighbors ain't gonna do nothing about it and since they seem a little woo, you don't wanna step to them and tell them, hey, your dog's a problem. How do you like my dog going over there harassing your children? You know, th this can go a million ways. <laughs> this could be someone talking to their spouse and together the two come up with what they should do next. Like maybe one person's like, talking about retiring or talking about quitting or moving. It's like, what should we do? It could be very serious up into not so serious, you know? It could be someone talking to their dentist about like, what type of steps do I take next to fix this problem with my tea? Or, you know, it's something like that. Like I see like payment plans. I see um, not settling. I definitely don't see anyone settling here for the first, you know, it's, or not settling to just let a situation by, let it happen. Okay, let's say something legal does come up. I do think someone here is could be speaking to someone legally. Maybe someone was betrayed. Maybe they were um, harassed or stalked. Or maybe someone did something illegal against them. Someone could be talking to a higher up. They could be partnering with the legal system and saying, what do I do? And this, let's say it's a lawyer, they may advise this person, hey, hold off. There's a process, like I got in my other video. There's a process, a certain protocol, a certain way we have to go about this, but you know, someone could be getting prosecuted in some way here because of something that they've done, because someone's finally like defending themselves. But I'm hearing defendant could be legal. For some of you, if this is um, love, some of you could have love that either strengthens because of a difficult time and the two of you pull together and you end up working through some, some something difficult, maybe it strengthens the bond in the family or it strengthens the bond, like maybe someone's ill in the family, right? Like maybe somebody is planning for a funeral and or they know someone's gonna pass and it's like maybe family members come together and they have to discuss burial and, and all this and I'm hearing eulogies and well, how are we gonna do this? Are we gonna cremate? Are we gonna bury? Are we gonna, how are we gonna afford it? You know, what are we gonna do? So there could be that. Let's say it's new connections that come together. Love could come from two people working together on something that isn't really so great. You know, it wasn't, it's kind of like, I wish we wouldn't have met this way, but now that we have, love could come from it, which is crazy, right? But I, I do see that, <laughs> I absolutely do. I see it and I feel it. 
It could be like some of you a great surprise for your birthday or something that, um, you know, you're going to be shocked at how someone is actually not only willing to work with you, but into you, interested in you, quite possibly in love with you, vice versa. So what are we at? Oh, I think we're good. So I'm going to leave this here. I think we got what we needed for Libra. Again, happy birthday, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.